On this week's Friday Five, we look at five Mac utilities to check out this weekend. The first app that we'll talk about today is Super Duper, and it comes with a free unlimited trial, so I definitely recommend you check it out. Basically, this app allows you to clone any drive that you select on your Mac. You can clone it directly to a disk image. And the benefit of that is that you can easily restore this disk image using the stock disk utility app. So when I successfully built my Hackintosh, the first thing I did, and I mean the very first thing I did was open up Super Duper to make a clone of the successful build. The next app is a free utility and it's from Intel. It's called Intel Power Gadget. And what this app allows you to do is to monitor CPU status. So you can monitor details like power consumption, frequency or clock speed, and temperature. So you can see how hot your CPU is running, for instance. I find this app really helpful for Hackintosh builds when I'm overclocking because it allows me to see the real clock speed. Now this next app is available for $1.99 on the Mac App Store, and perhaps you've seen me use it before. It's called Mr. Stopwatch, and it's a very simple app. In fact, you could probably call it unattractive. It's just not, not much to it from a look standpoint. But I do like it because it allows you to keep the clock on top of whatever you're working on. And that's really helpful when you're running benchmarks and you need to time that benchmark. You can keep the clock on top using Mr. Stopwatch. Like I said, it's not much to look at and it doesn't have a ton of features, but it does what it's intended to do very well. The next app is an app that's on sale currently on the Mac App Store for 99 cents and this is called Magnet. It is a window snapping utility. Now I know there are lots of window snapping utilities available for Mac OS, but this is on sale for 99 cents and it works really well. Now, of course, you can do like I just showed you and use drag gestures on the windows to snap them into place, or you can go up to the menu bar icon and select the shortcuts directly from the menu bar. Or if you wish, you can just use one of the configurable keyboard shortcuts that are available. So lots of different ways to go about snapping windows when you use magnet. Okay, so let's go into the utilities preferences and you'll see where you can configure all of the keyboard shortcuts. You can also enable launch at login and disable window snapping by dragging. And then finally, we have Amphetamine. And I know that probably doesn't sound like the best app, but trust me, it is a very good app. It allows you to basically disable the energy saver settings for your Mac. So you can prevent your Mac from going to sleep indefinitely. You can set it to do so for a certain amount of minutes, certain amount of hours. You can set a custom amount of time. You can even make your Mac stay awake while a particular app is running. So if I wanna choose Google Chrome here, Amphetamine will force my Mac to stay awake, as you can see there, until Google Chrome is closed out. So now we're going to close out of Google Chrome and watch what happens to the menu bar icon, which actually changes to denote whether or not Amphetamine is active. Now, that is just the tip of the iceberg. There are lots of options that you can go in and configure for Amphetamine. If you go into Preferences, you'll see General, you'll see different triggers you can set up, uh, Drive Alive, Hotkeys, Notifications appearance, you can actually change the look of the icon. So if you don't like the particular icon style, you can change it up to something of your liking. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at five Mac utilities to check out this weekend. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.